Hey, in this video we're going to be talking about how to troubleshoot Huey systems, Huey pumps, and injector leaks. So in this video we're going to be discussing how a Huey system works, the components to it, and basically how to troubleshoot them. For CAD engines, all of these principles apply to all Huey engines. So what CAD engines had Huey systems? Well, basically, at the very end of the 3116's run, they had a, a proto-Huey system. But really, we're talking about 3126's, C7's, and C9's. And then towards the end of the C7 and C9 engine's life, they had the regen motors, which used high-pressure fuel systems. Now, we're just talking about the Huey systems, which if you have an RV or a smaller truck with a CAT engine, odds are very likely it has a Huey system in it. So let's go over just a real quick rundown of how a Huey system works. So Huey stands for Hydraulic Electronic Unit Injector. That's why they say Huey. So what that is is normal, you know, 40, 50, 60 PSI oil pressure is pulled from the oil rail in the block. It's sent up to the Huey pump, which then is electronically controlled even though it's a gear driven pump and it supplies high pressure oil to the injectors so these injectors don't run high pressure fuel they run high pressure oil through the rail in the head and then the injectors are electronically controlled by the ECM and it uses that high pressure oil to fire the injectors so you don't have high pressure fuel anywhere except where the injectors firing it you have high pressure oil so, um, on these systems, you want to do oil changes more often, opposed to going, you know, 10,000 miles. I recommend six or seven, six or seven thousand mile oil changes. Um, you know, run clean oil. These systems are very expensive. So, the systems are pretty easy to troubleshoot, and I'm going to be going over and showing you the components and where they're located for what you need to do on troubleshooting these systems. There's really not many components at all. There's injectors, which all diesel engines have, and these there's not much difference between these injectors and a high-pressure common rail injector or a camshaft actuated one. And really the only thing that's different is the Huey pump itself. So let's go over and I'll show you what, what they are, where they are, and what you need to know about them. So this is a 3126 Huey pump. It's located above the air compressor on the intake side of the engine. Here's a C7 or C9 Huey pump, same location. Uh, it's on the front gear housing above the air compressor. The purple line is the high pressure oil line on a 3126, and the green line is the quick connect oil supply line. On a C7, the oil supply line is the green line, and the purple line is the high pressure line going. So here we have a 3126 injector. The green arrow is pointing to the top O ring, and the red arrow is pointing to the lower O ring that seals the Huey system in the head. So, what are some common complaints with the Huey systems? Well, since they control the injectors, there's a lot of different things that these can do. They can give you a check engine light. They can cause the engine to crank but not start. They can give you low power, engine miss. Pretty much all power complaints and engine not starting can be caused by the Huey system. So hopefully you have a way to communicate with these engines because what you're going to need to do is see what those Huey pressures are. And I'm going to be going over what codes to look for and what the pressures need to be, okay? So here we have a download, 3126. Now these principles all apply to a C7, C9, or 3126. And we have injection actuation pressure signal erratic faults. And they're fairly recent. They've happened within the last hour of the engine running. Now we also have injection actuation pressure system faults, and there's 255 occurrences, which is the max count. So this person obviously has a problem with their Huey system somewhere. So now we're going to be showing you how to troubleshoot that. So here we have a status screen. We're viewing most of the engine information as this engine's running. And the first thing you're going to want to check is engine oil pressure, because if there's no oil pressure, it's obviously not going to be sending oil to the Huey pump. Now the next things we're looking at is desired injection actuation pressure, injection actuation pressure, and injection actuation output. Now what you want is the desired and the actual 
to be really close. You typically don't want to see them have a 100 PSI difference, ever. So this one you can see is kind of jumping around. See it went up to 2,000 there and desired to not move. So that's typically caused by the Huey pump itself. So typically it's a Huey pump. After that, it's usually the injector seals. Um, and it does, there is a injection actuation pressure sensor, but I've never seen that be the cause, unless it says injection actuation pressure sensor voltage high. Now what I'm doing here is I'm going into, CAT has a way of controlling the Huey pressure in their diagnostic tests called injection actuation pressure test. So when you turn this test on, it's going to drop your Huey pressure to the lowest setting, which is desired is 870. And what you can do is you can step up or step down the pressure. And what that will do is it'll see if that pump can keep up with demand. And like I said, you don't really want to see the desired and the actual pressure change very much. Um, when you jump it up, it should jump up to like 3,300. And when you pop it down to 2,100, it should stay. At, see, right now it's at 1,700 actual and the desired is 2100. Now, 76% output, you're probably thinking, why doesn't it go to 100%? 76% uh, on a Huey pump, for some reason, is max output. So, at least on these 3126, it is. It is. On a C7 or C9, you might see 99% max output. But, as you can see, the pressure was not keeping with desired there on that second step. It's kind of bobbing around. When we drop it here again, it's going to change. And like I said, you don't want to see it typically be over 100 PSI difference. So how do you distinguish if it's the Huey pump or the injector seals itself? Well, typically, the injector seals, the leaks will get worse at a higher pressure. So when you pump it up, maybe it will never reach the 3300, whereas this one is reaching the 3300 with no problem. It seems to have the step problem at the 1400 and 2100 problem, or uh, pressure setting. So that seems more in line with the Huey pump going bad. Other things, let's say, let's say your engine won't start, you hook up to it, it won't build Huey pressure at all. Um, that might be an injector seals went out. Um, so what you want to do in that case is pull the valve cover and you're going to crank it and you're going to look for a stream of oil because that pressure is going to be typically under very high pressure. Um, so if your engine won't start, you see you don't have Huey pressure, pull that valve cover, uh, keep a little bit of back away from it, crank it, and see if you've got any Huey pressure oil leaks. You can also do it with the engine running, but it makes a humongous mess if you suspect an injector leak. So we've got a 3126 here, and what we're going to do is we're going to test that driver. So the C7, C9s also have a driver. I'll show you where it's at. But this is a 3126. And on a 3126, the drivers are replaceable. They're about, I want to say they're about $240, but usually it's the pump itself. So what you do is you ohm out the driver, and on a 3126, it should be between 4 and 16 ohms. On a C7 or a C9, it should be 8 plus or minus 2, so basically 6 to 10 ohms of resistance. There's your uh, injection actuation pressure sensor there on the top next to the valve cover base. I was just pointing at. Now, yeah, if you pull this valve cover and you were to check for oil leaks. I'm not going to um, do that on this one because it's the Huey pump. Just the way it was running and wasn't keeping up with demand, that's not indicative of a leak. Uh, leaks are, it will never build pressure or it will not build higher pressures. Um, it makes a big mess even if there are no leaks. Those, in, those Huey injectors spray oil everywhere, so just be cognizant of that. And uh, this oil line here on the 3126, there's an update kit for it. And you see the cracks? There's a steel line update for this rubber hose. And if you're changing your pump, you should change the kit. So here we have a C7, C9 pump. And the, here's the Huey driver. It's actually on the top. It's not on the side. Now, I have a video showing you how to change your Huey pump and how to change your injectors. 
If you find an injector seal leaking, you can actually just change the seals. You don't have to change the injector itself, although the injector themselves can also fail and leak. The pump itself is the number one cause of QE issues. The pumps are fairly expensive. You're talking, I think they're around $1,200 for a C7 pump. Uh, they're not very difficult to change. Like I said, I have a video describing how to change the pump and how to change the injectors or reseal them, if in fact that's what you're going to end up doing. I hope I showed in this video enough to be able to troubleshoot it. Now, obviously, you're going to need a way to communicate with the engine in order to troubleshoot these. This isn't something you can do with, you know, just some some basic hand tools. But if you are troubleshooting a Huey issue, hopefully this video helped you out. If you have any questions, you can uh, leave them in the comments section. Thank you.